Earlier today, Sony released the first images of their new wireless controller for the PS5, the DualSense. Right off the bat, you can immediately tell just how different this controller is from the DualShock 4 and other previous PlayStation controllers. The shape of the controller itself reminds me a lot more of the Xbox One controller or the Nintendo Switch Pro controller due to its thicker body and how it appears to be much larger than the DualShock 4. It shocked me to see this because all PlayStation controllers have always had a smaller body and felt a lot more compact compared to the Xbox controllers of the past. Another major characteristic that I noticed was the color of the controller. This controller is rocking a two-tone design with white being present on the upper parts of the controller while also dipping down into the areas where your palms rest, and black taking the rest of the controller from the touchpad down. I gotta say, I love the color scheme and where the colors are placed. I believe it gives a great contrast and creates a very futuristic looking design. The blog post mentions how this is the first base controller to not incorporate just a single color, which only adds to the fact that Sony is really changing it up this time around. Looking back at the controller itself, it does still have a lot of similarities to the DualShock 4, with the touchpad, share, and options button. Well, technically, the share button is now changed to the create button, which according to the PlayStation blog post, with create, we are once again pioneering new ways for players to create epic gameplay content to share with the world, or just to enjoy for themselves. So yeah, this pretty much is just the share button, but most likely with some new added features. Some more notable changes would be the PlayStation button is no longer a circle with the logo, it is simply just the logo. And I personally like this a lot more. It looks clean and it adds to the futuristic feel. The light bar is no longer on the top of the controller and instead it was moved to the sides of the touchpad which adds a nice contrast with the white upper. For the new added features, there is now a built in microphone array that allows players to talk with their friends without needing a headset. Of course, like the blog post says, it's still a better idea to have a headset but now you don't have an excuse to not give a call out in games such as Rainbow Six. Although you really shouldn't be playing those games without a headset either way. To go with the microphone, it seems there is a button beneath the PlayStation button to mute and unmute your mic quickly, which is a nice feature. And of course, the DualSense does include haptic feedback and adaptive triggers to create a better sense of immersion. The blog post made it known that they tried their hardest to incorporate these adaptive triggers without giving it a bulky feeling. It goes on to say that they also tried to make the controller feel a lot smaller than it actually looks, which is quite interesting because it does look pretty big, but we won't really be able to see how they did on making it feel smaller until we actually get our hands on one. The post also makes a quick mention on how they made a subtle change to the grip and tried to maintain a strong battery life which are both good things. With them revealing the controller first, it really does add to the hype for the reveal of the system itself. Now of course, we can speculate on what the console will look like based on what we see with this controller. I think that it only makes sense for the PS5 to have both white and black to go along with the controller and this is very unique considering every PlayStation this far has launched as a black system, except of course for the first PlayStation which was all grey. We've already seen seen some renders and photos of what seemed to be PS5 dev kits a while ago, which did have a futuristic vibe as well, but of course those were just dev kits and not the real deal. I do believe the system we will be getting will give off the same, let's call it minimalistic future vibe as the DualSense and incorporate the same two-tone coloring. Looking at the DualSense compared to the new controller that will be shipped with the Xbox Series X, Sony obviously takes the cake in terms of new design. The Xbox Series X controller has a slight and subtle differences than the Xbox One that are probably improvements, but this DualSense controller is just a whole new build and design for PlayStation. Using this comparison of controllers, we can make some guesses as to the PS5 possibly being, I'd say, a little more unique than the Xbox Series X. The Series X does have a unique design with its computer tower-like build, but when comparing it to the looks of the One X, honestly, they have a very similar look. They're both sleek, they're both black, and they both, of course, are boxes. And on top of that, you can place the Series X on its side, which then makes it look even more like the One X, or just the One for that matter. I can confidently predict that that when the PS5 reveals, we will be seeing a system that looks pretty different than what we're used to with the PS4. But I digress. The look of the system truly doesn't matter in the end, but it is still a fun topic to touch on, and truth be told, we are going to be adding these to our entertainment stands and in our rooms, so why not have it looking cool? Another thing that I want to touch on is that the blog post mentioned the launch of the PS5 during holiday 2020. This is important to see because there has been a lot of rumors going around about the PS5 possibly being delayed for 6 months to a whole year due to overheating and hardware issues. If this was the case, I doubt Sony would still be mentioning the holiday 2020 launch date. I, just like the most of you, cannot wait for the PS5 to finally just fully reveal, but when it does, I believe we will all be rewarded for our patience.